is my third video in my module on uh, creating statistical graphs. And in this video, we're going to focus on what we call the ogive or the cumulative frequency graph. Okay, and so just like my last two videos, which covered uh, histograms and frequency polygons, respectively, uh, this also has to deal with frequencies, except for it deals with purely uh, cumulative frequencies. So We'll visit our, our frequency distribution over here on the right in just a moment and talk about what we mean by cumulative frequency again. But we say the ogive is a graph that represents the cumulative frequency for the classes in a frequency distribution. So whenever anybody says ogive, you can substitute cumulative frequency graph in that sentence and it'll be you know valid. So when we say uh, uh, an ogive, we are primarily you know using this to show the audience how many data exist below a specific upper class boundary. So when we say upper class boundary, you know we can go ahead and take a look at this date on the right here. This is the same date I've used in my last two videos, uh, but basically it was the high temperatures of all 50 states. And, and so um, essentially, if I were to look at cumulative frequency here, recall, and I've got this a little bit out of order here, but these are my frequencies right here. Cumulative frequency says you know, how many have you counted up until now? So like, for example, in the first class, it has a frequency of two. So up until now, we've got a cumulative frequency of two. Uh, but we say, well, in our second class, we had eight states that we had between 104 and a half and 109 and a half high temperature. But up until now, we had the eight states here plus the initial two. So we've had 10. So basically what I'm saying in this little uh, bullet point here is this, you know, uh, an ogive or cumulative frequency graph is really good at helping us see like, you know, how many states had high temperatures, say, 100 19 and a half, which is an upper class boundary, or below, or below this, and we say, well, 41 did. 41 of our 50 states have a high temperature of 119 and a half or below. Okay, so we want to graph the cumulative frequency when it comes to an ogive. So we, we've already found number one here is find the cumulative frequency, but number two is draw our x and y axes. Okay, so we say x and y axes. Let's get a few things straight here. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have our classes. Class. We're not going to label it classes, but that's what these are. We're going to label it temperatures. We're going to label it, so we say temps. Okay. Also, this um, says label the x-axis with the class boundary. So just this is just like a histogram in that we're going to use that each of these numbers here when we when we dress up the x-axis here, our class boundary. So we say 99 and a half. We say 99.5. We have 104.5. So you're going to have to forgive me here. I'm going to label up my my x-axis here. Uh, 109.5. Uh, 114.5, I get my 4 looking like a 4, uh, 119.5, 124.5, 129.5, and I think we have one more is 134 and a half, so 134 and a half. The thing to keep in mind here is this, this is a cumulative frequency, so since we're talking about all 50 states here, uh, you know, of course it adds up to 50, uh, but we say this, this y-axis here is our cumulative, we need to label this cumulative frequency. So the way an ogive works is this, we're going to go up to 50, in this case we say 50, you know, it would probably be appropriate to go by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, but essentially, uh, we're going to take the cumulative frequency well, in each class and we're going to draw a dot for that one, okay? So we say start with the first lower class boundary. So the lower class boundary, this is 99 and a half, okay? It says connect all the data points on the graph with straight line segments. So now keeping in mind that an ogive is really asking the question how many, how many states, say in this case, up until now have temperatures 104 and a half or below? The answer to that would be two. But now my next question is this. How many states would have a high temperature of 99 and a half or below, which was our minimum? This was our min, okay? And we could say zero. Nobody had had anything yet. So it's very important that when you make a cumulative frequency graph, that this first dot here is zero because you haven't counted anything up yet. By the time you get to the end of this first class, which is 104 and a half degrees, then you've reached two total states. So that's where we put the dot for two. Uh, we're going to keep graphing cumulative frequency. So we say 109 and a half. How many states have a, a high temp of 109 and a half or below? 10 up until now. So here's our dot at 10. And then we have a dot next at 28. So I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit faster now. We say 28. The next one here is 41, which would be about yay high if I'm eyeballing it here. And then we have 48, 49, and 50. And so now the rule here for ogives is this. We actually go through and you connect the dots. So a few things that I want to mention about this. You know, the reason why we connect the dots, I would suppose, is this. The higher the slope, then it's fast, fast kind of growth, growth on our graph here. More and more states being included here in the middle, okay? Uh, so higher frequencies in the middle. Also this, 
you know, we, we say it starts at height zero. That's one thing we want to know. And it ends at height equal to n. Now remember n stands for number, represents the total number of data in our data set. So this is how you make a uh, cumulative frequency graph or an OGI. That's what this graph is called, an OGI.